Good evening. Well, historically, we have always been a great friend of Israel. Indeed, it was the Balfour Declaration in 1917 that set the blueprint for what we then saw emerge after World War II, the state of Israel. And we have been steadfast supporters of that country, as indeed have the Americans. But something significant has changed since October the 7th. And last night at the UN Security Council, we were one of the countries that voted for a ceasefire. Now, I'm pleased to say the one good thing was that it did demand the unconditional release of the hostages. But it's still surprising, given that it is stated Israeli policy, that they will go after the Hamas terrorists. Surprising we voted for that resolution in many ways. But David Cameron, Lord Cameron, as Foreign Secretary, has steadily been shifting that position. Add to that an incident that took place at Manchester Airport yesterday evening. Two brothers, Nuria and Daniel Sharabi, were coming into the country from Israel. This is just a little snippet of the confrontation they had with Border Force. The checks we need to conduct, so okay? To Nobody's saying that. Country. Nobody has said that once. So knock the attitude off. <laughs> We've made the decision and you're coming in. So just let us do the checks we need to do and keep quiet. Look at me. Okay, you clear with that? Good. We're the bosses, not you. All right? Well, fairly sharp, wasn't it? And I bet you, I tell you what, I bet nobody who comes into Dover via dinghy gets spoken to like that. But it was something else that was said that was even more controversial. And Sir Michael Ellis, Conservative Member of Parliament, stood up in the House of Commons today and explained all. Mr Speaker, the terrorist attack of the 7th of October on Israel has provoked widespread anti-Semitism in this country and around the world. And the latest manifestation of this was at Manchester Airport yesterday where border force apparently do not want Israeli Jews to enter this country, two innocent victims of the music festival slaughter were berated and told, and I quote, we have to make sure that you are not going to do what you're doing in Gaza over here, end quote. This is to two victims of the Nova Music Festival. Blaming all Jews for the actions of their country is obviously anti-Semitic. These are people in uniform acting for this country, as border force officers, it is a disgrace beyond all proportion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their detention was clearly unlawful for several hours. They're being offered free legal representation, which I would urge them to take up. Can the defence, uh, forgive me, can the Deputy Foreign Secretary confirm that Jews and Israelis are still welcome to enter this country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minister. Well, I thank my right honourable and learned friend for his extremely robust. Uh, comments, Mr. Speaker, which uh, are uh, reflective of an absolutely outrageous, shocking, and disgraceful incident which is now being investigated. Well, I thought Sir Michael Ellis put that pretty well, and I sense that there is a growing prejudice against Israel and the people from Israel beginning to run right through our public services. Now, Naria and Daniel Sharabi will be on with Patrick Christie's tonight. He interviewed them earlier on today. You'll get the full interview this evening, but here's just a snippet. Two hours tomorrow. Uh, he called us back and he said, Naria asked him, why, why, why are you doing it? Why, why, what are we doing? What are we doing wrong? Uh, for what? Because we are a Jewish. Uh, and this guy say uh, exactly like this. We, do, we want to make sure that you're not going to do what you're doing in Gaza here. It's something that bring you up everything from October 7. That you come share your story and then you, you face with anti-Semitism, uh, not from civilians, not from people that think yeah. other way than, than you, from the officer. Now, I'm all for border force doing their job. Absolutely. I'm all for strong borders. But if what has been said there is true, then it is pretty disgraceful stuff. And I'm going to ask you a question. Have we betrayed Israel? Some will think that's far too strong a question. But you know what? That's how it feels to me. I see a shift in our attitudes towards Israel and Israelis. And I see it from Lord Cameron right the way down through border force and our public services. Give me your thoughts, farage at gbnews.com.